So how is this news being received by those in the Central Bucks School District? Just last week, the board voted to make masks optional. Now it will have to reverse course to amend its back-to-school safety plan. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is in Doylestown tonight where the mass debate is far from being over. Alicia? Well, Yuki, that debate is far from being over. And in fact, the school board meeting happening behind me still isn't over. In fact, things got so tense here at one point in time, school board leaders threatened to suspend public comment and kick all parents out. It started before the meeting did. Parents shouting across the auditorium aisle at one another, at odds over Pennsylvania's mandate to require K-12 students to wear masks inside school buildings, just hours after the governor's announcement. We have to act now to protect our students and our teachers. Right from the start, school district leaders announced changes in Central Bucks' current health and safety plan, which doesn't require face coverings. I have confidence in this board whatsoever. I hope we could tell the board that Central Bucks schools are not a hospital ward. Ahead of a limited two hour public comment session, directors gave ground rules. Anyone engaging in disruptive, harassing, or intimidating behaviors will be removed. Despite a warning and police on hand, emotions overflowed. This is ridiculous. All of it. And all of us, we the parents, will be standing here against all of you. Attendees could be seen cheering, booing, and giving standing rounds of applause after speakers. Also, one last point. With board leaders struggling to keep control. You know, everybody is amped up. But you guys have to remain respectful. We have to be able to run a meeting. Proof no mandate can mask this divide. And while we are expecting the board to follow the governor's lead, again, that meeting is ongoing now. We do know the health and safety plan will be reviewed once again at the next meeting. That happens on September 14th. Reporting live in Doylestown, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News.